of the most appealing aspects of owning an RV is having the ability to travel to destinations near and far without having to sacrifice the comforts of home. While a weekend away can be a perfect way to reset before returning to the routine of your home life, many RVers will want to take their home on wheels to a new city, state, country, or even continent, checking off a few bucket list items along the way. Such trips are bound to spawn a lifetime of memories, but they also come at a cost. Between arrangements for campsites, fuel stops and meals, and planning activities and events along the way, not to mention the unexpected emergency that may arise, there is a lot of planning involved in these long-distance treks. Luckily, shouldering the entire burden of planning such a getaway isn't an RVer's only option. For those so inclined, taking advantage of one of Fantasy RV Tour's guided RV vacations could be the perfect way to have your cake and eat it too. In order to gain some insight into RV vacation tours, we've gone straight to the source. Joining a caravan as they embark on a tour through the towering mountains, sublime glaciers, and ample wildlife in one of the most popular of all travel destinations, beautiful Alaska. RV tour is an escorted tour with a leader and someone traveling at the end of the caravan. We call them the tail gunner couple. We travel together, not nose to nose or bumper to bumper, but we travel on the same uh, itinerary with planned stops. We take care of the campground reservations and excursions, bus tours, boat tours, all of the highlights of any particular area. And basically, all an RVer has to do is just show up, we do the rest, all the planning is done. John and Carol Tesley have embarked upon a number of RV tours over the years, first as guests along for the ride, later bringing up the rear of the caravan as tail gunners, and now leading the charge and spearheading much of the planning through Alaska as wagon masters. If anyone can speak to the experience of an RV tour, John and Carol are it. I think these tours are designed for anybody who is interested in, in traveling, that um, wants to see things around the country because we have so many different itineraries, but all the planning is done for you. It's, it's pre-designed, it's, um, all the research has been done, um, all the arrangements have been made. So somebody who, let's say, doesn't have a lot of time to do all the planning, but still wants to do the trip, just has to be able to get that time off of work, perhaps, or if they're retired, uh, and just go on the trip. They don't have to spend a lot of time, not a lot of thought process has to be put into it. So you can really just enjoy your time. This, this trip we're on right now, it gives you a sampling of all of these cities in, in Alaska. I mean, even through uh, Canada, the Yukon, and Alaska, we hit all the major stops, all the major stops. We and we do all the major excursions, all the big things that people think about when you go to Alaska. You know, we make sure that we check off all those bucket list items. We're doing the best of, of the, the best, best yeah. in those towns. <laughs> we we are. really are. Among the major objections an RVer is likely to have when it comes to spending their vacation as part of a caravan on a guided tour is the lack of flexibility and freedom they would be afforded. For many, the idea of being part of a caravan will provoke images of bumper-to-bumper -bumper travel, being tied to a rigid schedule, and minimal, if any, time to venture away from the group to relax or to explore the country independently. Yet while this may be a fair assumption to make, the reality of what is offered suggests a different and far more independent experience for travelers. A good RV tour company is going to truly make you feel welcome 
and that it's your vacation and you don't have to get up and leave at seven o'clock in the morning. Perhaps the tour leader will leave at seven o'clock in the morning and most companies say, you can leave in two or three hours and then the assistant, the tail gunner, will be the last person traveling that day and will be behind you to make sure that your travel day is a good experience for you. People might roll in a half hour after us, anywhere to two or three or four hours after us, depending on what kind of stop stops they want to take and what kind of sightseeing. So people can leave whenever they want, and that's something that they should do when they check out. It's a your company. vacation. I mean, we tell them it's their vacation. That's right. So make sure that um, you know you don't have to leave within a certain time or in a certain order. You know, there's different styles of travel. So make sure that you're getting. Um, a company that's going to give you some more freedom so that you can travel the way you want to. While having a full RV vacation with meals, fuel stops, route, and all accommodations planned for you is a tremendous value in and of itself. A bigger draw for many travelers comes in the form of the activities and events on the table. Rest assured, with so much to see and only so much time to work within, Fantasy RV Tours will ensure that the best of the best are selected for their guests. For this particular trip through Alaska, RVers were taken on a guided tour through the vibrant community of Dawson City, Yukon, and an evening of entertainment at Diamond Tooth Gertie's, a showroom and gambling hall left over from the Klondike days. RVers also enjoyed a few days in beautiful Homer, Alaska, the halibut fishing capital of the world, where they were treated to a breathtaking oceanfront campsite on the Homer Spit, an excursion by seaplane to Katmai National Park for a one-of-a-kind bear watching experience, and an end-of-day halibut fish fry courtesy of their very own wagon masters. Between these activities and the everyday sights of mountains and glaciers, opportunities for fishing and paddleboarding, not to mention magnificent moonrises and champagne toasts overlooking the water, there's certainly no shortage of beauty and excitement. Yet those on an RV tour also have access to the added perk of unique excursions not accessible to the general public. We schedule special events. Um, there's advantages in numbers. Like today, we did the Alaska Sea Life Center, and we were able to schedule a puffin experience, which was done as a private type of presentation that the public normally doesn't get. So that's something that if you walked in as an individual, you wouldn't have that opportunity, whereas we were able to do that as a group. So those kinds of things present themselves on a caravan, whereas as an individual, you may not get to do that. While it won't take much to convince someone into an activity they already have their heart set on, a more unexpected benefit to traveling with a group such as this is being persuaded to have experiences you may have otherwise avoided or simply been unaware of. You might think you know how something is going to go, but the reality is the most powerful experiences often come when we least expect it. Our viewers often hear horror stories about the top of the world highway and they are greatly exaggerated. And if you don't travel over the top of the world highway, you're gonna miss, say, Dawson City, and you're gonna miss Chicken, Alaska. Don't be afraid of the top of the world highway. Just drive slow. It's beautiful. You are literally traveling on a ridge, the top of the world highway. Beautiful scenery. Don't drive fast. Oftentimes, the best part of the journey is the driving day. It may not be the destination, the campground. It's just a campground to rest up after your beautiful scenic travel day. From the excitement of adventuring and the impossible beauty of the scenery to one-of-a-kind experiences in all shapes and sizes, there is much to discover and much to experience on any RV tour. Yet what truly makes this type of caravan tour such a meaningful experience for so many is something that you will hold on to long after the final days of your trip have come to an end. Something you will carry with you into your future adventures, both near and far. I think 
the most important and, and the thing is the, the, the friendship, the friendships that we've made. We, uh, we have people that before this, this tour started were total strangers and they're inviting us to come visit all over the country and it's just so wonderful we formed such a wonderful bond with so many people i would say in all certainty we've met um a couple of other couples that will for sure be lifelong friends you know we don't live anywhere near one another but we've already talked about um they're going to go down to florida and we're in south carolina so they'll come back up through and and that's just a cool experience you know when we travel by ourselves it's fun and we enjoy it, but it's more fun to travel with others. So. It is. Yeah, I think these are lasting relationships. We've become great friends. We have friends now from all over the country. Um, all our guests, um, they've all made friends everywhere. Um, it's really fun. And they even have reunions around the country, different people getting together. And we see everybody on Facebook saying, oh, you know, there's six or seven of us couples that have met down in Florida, you know. Fort even, Myers, so yeah. and so and so and so, we ran into them. And that's uh, happening all the time. Yeah, so it's fun. So yeah, caravanning's a lot of fun. Our veers tell us at the end of their tour that one of the things they like the most is sitting around at night talking with their friends about what they did that day whether it was fishing or golfing or whatever they did that day and perhaps having a barbecue all together and having a campfire telling the stories having sing-alongs and just sharing those moments that are so special during this time of bonding. <laughs> we didn't know any of you, but you were names in RV Village, and you have now become family. Yeah. Yeah.